everyone, this is Jen Benninger with iBrand Your Business and welcome to our short training video on how to add uh, admins and managers to your Facebook page and assign them different roles so each of them have different access to your business page. So um, all you got to do is go to your business page and here's ours, um, iBrand Your Business. Uh, I'm actually going to show you guys how to do this on our test page because um, I'm going to add some... I'm going to add some uh, admins here. Okay, so you're here on your uh, Facebook business page. Okay, at the very top, it says edit page. You want to click on edit page, go down here to manage admin roles. Okay, so if you created this business page, then you are the uh, only admin that will show up on here and you will have the role as manager. Manager has the most access of any um, of the other roles when you're assigning it to um, an admin. So it says right here, Jen can manage admin roles, which means add and take off people, send messages and create posts as the page, create ads and view insights. So basically I get to do um, all the functionality of the business page is my role here. But let's say, so for example, you all know my fabulous business partner, Teresa Santa. So I want to make her a manager of this page as well. So you have to come here. Now you have two ways to um, add a manager. If you're friends with someone on Facebook and you are, um, and you know their name, so you can type in, see here where it says Teresa Santa, and I can click on her name and it brings up her profile picture. Okay, so that is one way. The other way is if you don't know what name they use on Facebook and you're not friends with them, you can enter an email address. And what that looks like is, I'm gonna do ds Now the email that you're using has to be the email that they log into Facebook with. Okay, so then you hit enter. Then you have to enter your password in here. This is your password for Facebook, not your business page or anything like that, okay? So it knew that that was her email attached to her Facebook page. So when I typed in um, her email, it, it pulled her up. Now, if you don't have, and she was also my friend. However, if you are adding someone where they are not your friend and you're only adding an email, what will come up here is um, a pending. And what that means is they have to go to their email and accept the manager uh, position that you've given them. Okay, so those are the three different ways. One, you just type their name in because they're your friend on Facebook. One, they're your friend on Facebook, but you only know her, their email address. Or three, you're not friends with them on Facebook. You know their email address. They have to confirm and accept the manager role. Okay, so that's how you add an admin. But let's talk about now the different roles that each person um, you can add. So this also is a great way that Facebook, one of the changes that Facebook made, which I love, because you can give different people different levels of access. So for example, I um, gave Teresa Santa, my business partner, content creator. Okay, now this is the default one. So if you don't select a different level of um, permission, then it's always going to default to the content creator. So Teresa can edit the page, okay? She cannot manage admin roles, see, because she's not a manager. But she can send messages and create posts, create ads, and view insights. So basically, she can only do things around content, okay? Your other option, let's see, what else can we make Teresa? We can make her a moderator, okay? A moderator. Teresa can respond to and delete comments on this page, send messages as the page, create ads, and view insights. So they're not able to post on behalf of the business page, okay? So if you have an assistant or something along those lines. Okay, then you can have give her ad, um, advertiser access, which means she can only create ads and view insights. She cannot post, she can't manage any admin roles, she can't comment, she can't send messages. So a lot of you might hire someone to run your ads for you on Facebook. This is the um, role that you would give them. 
And then last but not least is the insight analyst. This person can only view the insights. This is the most restrictive um, of all of the roles that you can give an administrator. So um, I hope that helps everyone. Again, they're very uh, clear at the bottom here when you click on what uh, permissions they can have. And I really hope that this helps you uh, manage your Facebook page a little bit better. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of tutorial videos and we'll see you on the other side. Bye-bye.